Hello! Welcome, traveler, to imaginary worlds. Welcome to my Sunday art show, Mural Dreams by Laura. I am Laura, and today we're gonna be painting a Christmas-themed painting. So I'm using, as usually, the Arteza acrylic paints, and I have my cup of tea here, ready to go. And today's yogi wisdom is... Let us be kind and compassionate to remove the sadness of the world. I'll drink that. Okay. So, oh dear. I have a brush, I have some water, I have some acrylic paint. And if you want to grab your brushes and paint along with me, that would be great. All right, so I have this acrylic pour that I had done a couple of months ago. It's a multiple cup pour. I had a load of leftover paint from one of the um, acrylic pouring workshops. So I wanted to do something with it because I wasn't quite 100% pleased with it. So I thought, for the longest time I was staring at it and didn't know what to do with it. Didn't really see much in it. So um, I thought today would be a good idea to do something with it because I didn't have the regular sized canvas. So. I drew a circle onto the canvas with a super big compass. And then I drew inside it. You probably can't see it, but I drew a meditating deer. <laughs> I thought that would be interesting. Paint could use some water. It's quite dry. So as you come in, feel free to say hello and tell me what you where you're watching from. Oh, it's getting really difficult to see the the circle line over here. It's like white on white or gray on gray. You're gonna start seeing the deer pretty soon. As I am gonna paint this around it and you're gonna understand <laughs> what I'm up to probably even talk about it maybe <laughs> thanks Sam glad you like it <laughs> I can't wait to see what it'll turn into as well Hope that I'll do it justice. I have to add this white paint because otherwise the green is quite transparent. This is a 36 by 36 canvas. It's quite big. And I don't 
can see that I'll be finishing it today. But, um, selling it today. Let's add a bit of ultramarine blue to that. That green. Have to add some white to it. The feeling like I'm gonna have to add several layers to this to make it more opaque. Blending, smooth blending of the colors. You have to work wet on wet and fast. Pink really does dry very fast. So if you don't use any mediums, I don't have any mediums with me right now. bigger surface. 
surface here it's easier to blend I use a bigger one I have to load it in with a lot of paint getting some blue right now Imperial blue and white so and let me get some just a dash of green I got a generous amount of green and a dash of white yeah it's just a dash okay with a bigger brush I can cover more ground if you're watching this in the replay you can put it on uh, 150 or 2 and it will be much more satisfying experience I think but I have the tendency to speak quite slowly and mellow you just want to hear what I have to say then you want to put it a little faster gradient there. I don't really want the brush stroke so there that's better. Alright let's keep moving on to the top. I think I'm gonna get the smaller pink brush. Get in some of the green, get a little bit of the white, and some of the pale blue. To go up here, I'm gonna have to get up. Now, I've never painted a deer before, <laughs> so I don't know how this will turn out. This isn't even a realistic deer, it's more of a cartoony deer, so it's kind of getting out of my area of the known. I gotta explore new territories, right? Some more table blue. Now I sketched everything out in advance. In advance. So of color in between lines now. Now that that's an easy feat, <laughs> getting some pale blue and uh, pale green, I think it is. Cut it deep and making sort of a teal color here. is symmetrical probably isn't exactly symmetrical 
beautiful, but you know what? Those deer in the wild, stag, stag, deer, staghorn, they, they're not symmetrical. So, no worries. Some black, darken it up over there in that corner. Let's get up. Make sure that I go the line making circles is concentrating work Probably high for sure. <laughs> Indubitably, I will not finish this today. But I plan to finish it next week. And then I'll post a video on, on um, Friday of a time lapse how I finished it. Should be, should be much fun. So. If you're here for the first time, and if you want to find out how this will turn out, then you better subscribe, and you'll be notified when I post the finished painting. symmetrical although it's a little difficult and you're probably gonna see much better from the distance symmetrical or not it's gonna be interesting to see how contrasting colors that I'm using here from the ones that I used in the actual pour together hopefully well and if you're interested to see how I did the pour let me know I don't have the footage but I never published it Yeah. 
course it is. It's my view. So I do whatever I want with it. If it's imaginary. So all this talk about your mushrooms and Christmas. discuss bring up the funny story between the Amanita Muscaria Marshall and Christmas funny story and the plausible totally plausible Santa Claus there's a mushroom or a shaman from the Lapland also, if you want to see a really cool, um, very unique Christmas movie, kind of Christmas movie. Well, it's about Santa Claus. But it's called Rare Exports. Some green, but it's kind of dried up. I'm adding a teeny tiny bit of um, yellow and some white, and uh, you know, some ultramarine blue in there too. The yellow doesn't really come through. There it goes. It's quite dry here in PA in the winter and your nose goes all sorts of crazy and dry. Canvases, man, they are a they are workout. <laughs> they are a workout to cover the whole thing. Cover the wall.
color on. even thinking how cool would it be to add some, some gemstones to this once it's all finished and painted and dry to add some crystals and crystal quartz points that look like here that is blowing some warm air and that makes it even drier it makes my paint dry so much faster <laughs> but we enjoy the warm make it more paint mixture here at a base a deer meditating at least it's not actually a deer it's a goat but um, the body is pretty similar for the most part got hopes and stuff four legs and the whole thing so I thought you know what it'll be okay cheeks on this fella. We'll make the cheeks smaller next time around or this time around. Let me go in there and make it less cheeky. It's difficult to catch on a pore because you can barely see what you're doing. And it's difficult to see symmetry and not symmetry. And this is definitely... Here. Oh. We'll see if we keep the inside of the deer the way it is. We'll see if. We keep the outside the way it is. I'm not decided yet. this I'll probably add some stars. Get rid of all this black in my brush. And then with more blue, more green, this time I add a little bit of 
white, some of that white, darker, I mean lighter mixture. It's just a lot, a lot of layers, that's all. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't be worried too much because there's gonna be other things covering all over here. It's gonna be little mushrooms and we're gonna have snowflake. So it doesn't really matter if it's not perfectly. I should be using a smaller brush to 
get into the get into the books and manuals there. This is work. I have some defunct washers. Gradually, <laughs> bring that color in here. Let's do that with a smaller brush. Like mixture, that should be getting pretty 
Bogoraz. these brushes in water Imagine where his head is. <laughs>
water. See with these lights blaring, glaring on that side, all I can see is a reflection. Let me add some more of that light and try to blend these in a little nicer. in here a little doge like what's up i heard my name why aren't you feeding me yet uh, uh. it's world it's almost dinner time about it because it would be a silhouette but oh <laughs> but um I was thinking of making letting the deer like that leaving it uh, the same color pattern as the floor leaving it as the floor not sure if you guys have any ideas let me know this would look good. I'll be working on this next week too. Mm, it's So it's green, 
really stubborn. The white is basically why I didn't love this canvas. That whole white thing. There's too much white. But it will all turn out. I want to get rid of the black. I want to get some of that leather mixture and a bit of white to match it over there. Let's do the gears like right here. Oh, that's much darker than I want it. Let's see what this does. It's a bit, it's a little bit dark. Brush. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a dryer brush to blend. All right. There we go. That's better. All right. So. Outline this this deer somehow so that we can see it better. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I just do it with a with a liner brush. 
there's no lemon in gold. Because I feel like gold today. And this gold will be. cool trick to keep your paints wet is to grab a spritzer of water, spritz bottle, and just uh, spritz your, your, your paints so they don't, so they stay wet longer. Alright, so I have uh, a liner brush. I loaded with some gold paint. This is kind of reconstituted gold paint. It was starting to go um, to get dry. But uh, I saved it. Maybe I should have a little lake, so I don't have to keep bending down. is needed when doing such tasks. Oh, but you can see and I'm not taking away the view. I 
improve at 39. I love it how it's used, it's been up from, from unwanted lines. to shape up a little bit. I always like this moment. Oh, this is the one that I want to get rid of. Could have been so <laughs> important to be so intrusive. That's a reminder to clean the house. I did it yesterday. Okay. 
It's easy. It's uh, it's difficult to see what the sketch was. Uh... on a moose.
one ear is slower than the other. Mm, this is something about that. And I just dropped my paintbrush. It happens a lot. Mm, let's do something about that lower ear. We don't want no lower ear. Not at all. So let's get some white and green and let's go right back to what we were doing. Okay, white and green and blue. Is that it? Is that the right? Kinda, kinda. Okay. This is what you do. If you make a year too big and one too small. Body. 
think I made his legs very long.
Mm, I like this Arteza. Arteza gold. Cool. Alright, finally some fresh gold because the other one was reconstituted gold. It's a little difficult to work with. Oh, this is so much creamier.
Look at what I'm looking though. That's it. <laughs> you have like some kind of weird unique goat. That's a goat. Nice. things that there's on the added in here but so far starting to shape up yeah. mm -hmm. oh I could just make the hard area yeah. I was thinking of leaving it everywhere but it kind of looks or adding some highlights and and um, shadows to make it look more 3D. But having just the air, the heart, that would look cool. Fur. Cool. Cool. Definitely cool. I'll make his heart. Oh, I thought we That's what you proposed. We're gonna have a purely golden deer. a hexagon out of a circle. That would be fun. Okay, so adding the stars. You get preferably an old brush and you need some clean water. The water that I have in there is all dirty. I'm getting some white on the paintbrush and dipping it in the water. So I'm making some very loose white paint. More white. <laughs> Excuse me. transforms it into a s amazing sky. Now one thing you can do to prevent the stars to, to stick into unwanted areas, especially since I didn't 
I didn't uh, mask the rest of the painting. You can just immediately wipe it. I'm sure some stars went on the outside. You can see them right here. I'm just wiping them with a wet paintbrush. Already looks awesome. It's happened right now. My paintbrush, a wet paintbrush, my tissue. You can wipe any unwanted stars from the background. And now is the ideal time to do so because they're still not completely set and adhered to the, the paint. So. I can see some, I'm just wiping them off. Okay, good. Let's make some of those stars glowing. script brush I'm just going to an area here I'm dabbing it and just kind of I'm making a circle so that kind of like a, a shine see how it looks like it glows now you can also do this with a brush you don't have to do it with a finger like a peasant that's probably better so now what we're doing, just making bigger stars and, well, just the glow of the star. Now we're gonna go back and probably add some more definitions, more definition to them. I don't want to make them too... It's very fast, you better pour kind of fast. So now, one last one over 
right here. Now that we have our star below, let's add those cool rays, like a, a star pattern. upwards, trick downwards, and side to side, and then up and down, I mean um, to the diagonals. Okay. Do that, just add, you don't have to do the diagonals for each one. They don't all have to be so big. Only the ones that are bigger. These towers really make everything so much better. big snowflake <sighs> okay so I made this circle with this super big with this extended uh, compass so let's see the, that's the and I have marked here the, the halfway point but I can't see it anymore so I have to I have to measure it and halfway point. Oh, it's a very painted uh, <laughs> ruler. Okay, 18 right there. So, well, you're gonna find out in a sec how you can make a hexagon out of a circle with only a compass and a ruler. Okay, and I have my other halfway point and my other halfway point. Not that those should matter. Those don't matter, actually. Only the up and down. Okay, so, um, so I'm gonna put my point right here at the halfway point above and make sure it doesn't move. And then I'm gonna make a mark right here. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a mark with something different because this doesn't work. Okay, right there. And then I'm making a mark on this side, right here. All right. And then we're gonna do the same thing down here. I'm putting my point down there so it's like on a vertical and at this point right here and then I'm going to this way I'm only using this other pencil because 
apparently the thing that I have on the compass doesn't show on the page. Okay, so now that we have our points, all we need to do is making a hexagon. Or drawing from the center to each of the points and then you have a snowflake so the center point was right here and the halfway point was right up there right let me go a little to the side so can go right down you know, we're not gonna be seeing it much down here but we will we'll know it's there and then from the center going from here to the side so if you wanted to make a hexagon because you can make also hexagonal snowflakes you would just draw lines from each point, connecting each point. Find my center here. Uh, isn't that what we're always trying to do? <laughs> A bit of mysticism. Okay, I guess I could have just gone straight to the other side. here like be an acrobat okay and then down here where is the there it is I guess I could have just gone from one side to the other begin with <clears throat> Take a look at a snowflake. This is so pretty. Okay. So let me get a paintbrush, a flat paintbrush, but not too big. Um, something like this. Okay, so now let's get some, the snowflake is water, so water is transparent, it's ice, so ice is pretty transparent, but it has all those shadows and, and places where the light gets reflected. So, then it also has some other arms. So like let's say here. Maybe I should measure it. Should I measure it? works out pretty well if you just using pretty transparent paint or watered down paint. I, 
had a lot of wine for this one. Skeletons, as it were. Okay. to be quite close and that's much better. You better think like an ice crystal. This is one of those <laughs> artworks that kind of like a, the water drops in my bathroom. A whole bunch of little cool things. Maybe I should only add white to uh, the side of the other side is not as so let's, let's do, for example, this side, it has more light. Yes, it already has some brights here.
Well, I think it's a bit late now. To make a hexagon in the middle, I'll we'll just get at that. I was thinking, I was thinking all faster. Who else takes out their tongue while they're doing something? <laughs> they're concentrating. <laughs>
Snowflake is a lot of little work. Not a little work. Adding some brights on one side. made it silver. Oh, I can still make it silver. Okay, let's see here. I'm basically making these shapes. The zigzag, the zigzag sort of pattern. pattern of like like a fractal so when you put them all together they look really cool get a visitor here. Uh, it won't come because my dog is in here, but uh, I have this flying squirrel in my garage. should probably take my dog out of here. He gets way too excited about these things. They're like a toy for him. I don't blame him. Oh, 
like the attraction of the day. Uh-oh. Kill. Okay. We're gonna have to excuse me for a sec. Hey, Kale. Come here, buddy. Kale, come on. Come on. <laughs> Something bad's gonna happen. I, I know it. I have my dog here and he's kind of stuck, stuck behind some shops. And we have an easel. A little skull is coming out. I think it's hungry. Yep, Kale is behind the curtain. And Skull is about over there. Yep, nobody. I gotta call him for dinner. Okay, you want dinner? Yeah. He's totally stuck. Come on, He's as stuck as a cat. Come on. No, no, no. Come on over here. Oh, jump. There it is. Come on. Oh my Rip. gosh, it's so cute. It's on the carpet. There's my husband's face. <laughs> Pretending he cares about this girl. <laughs> oh. Not in a good way. Certainly hear me talking to somebody and I'd rather not look like a, a wacko today. Give you another day. Okay, we almost have a snowflake here. Almost have the white parts of a snowflake here. And it's five o'clock here in PA. <laughs> I'll probably sign off soon. I think I have to make much longer streams. I can barely get into the flow of it and then Down. I lost when he started moving towards me. Come on, buddy. Come on, you delicious little morsel. He's gone. Back to tracks. It's, I know where it is. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. I can't get to it then. No. We'll set it up after dinner. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so freaking cute. I wish I could show it to you guys. I could be like the next Bob Ross. If only he would come on over. Just running all over the floor. And my dog is stuck. <laughs> oh, oh he's, he got out. 
regular hollow blue here. And the gray family household. All right, now I want to add some darks to my... Do I add them now? I think I'm gonna sign up for now. Although it's a shorter stream, I started a little later. And um, I'm gonna finish this this week. And um, I'm gonna post the video as a time lapse on Friday. So if you want to see how this will pan out. Hi, and Jan. If you want to see how this turns out um, and you're not subscribed yet, you better subscribe and then hit that notification bell and that will notify you when I put out the video. So I hope you've enjoyed it thus far and I hope that I'll see you around soon. Until then, trust the flow and I love you all. Mwah. Stay safe.